EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From one of the all-timers in the world of golf, Riviera Country Club in Southern California, it's third round coverage of the Genesis Invitational. Rich Lerner here in our tower overlooking the 18th green. Frank Navalo is by my side. Out on the course, we've got Nota Begay the third and Iona Steven as we check the Saturday leaderboard. Our leader is Tony Finau. He's at 11 under. Meanwhile, our featured golfer, still within shouting distance, five shots off the pace. Two solid shots at the par five and found the green side bunker. Lie looks good. Now, just needed a good bunker shot. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for Birdie. Just five feet left. Yes, a good roll there. That's in for Birdie. And that's going to get him to one under for the round and seven under now for the tournament. Next up, the number one handicap holder, Riviera, the 471 yard par four second, playing into the prevailing ocean breeze, making it play that much longer. Par is a very good score here. And this round starting off strong after the birdie at the first. This in the fairway at number two. for a bogey. And that's going to drop him down the leaderboard just a bit. Not a long hole here. The third at Riviera, just 434 yards. This is about position and really the best way to get at the whole location is to sail it over that fairway bunker on the left. That'll give you a really good angle. Oh, and it's a narrow fairway here at three, but that'll be in a great spot. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. Left himself with 147 to the hole. Wind is helping from behind, so you can take a little less club. This one's looking good. Well, there's a good strike in there. Just a little left of the hole, but inside 10 feet. It's about 50-50 chance on the PGA Tour of making a birdie. Okay, nicely done. That's in for birdie here at three. And that'll move him to seven under par. Arriving now at the 236 yard par three fourth, what Ben Crenshaw once called the greatest par three hole in America. High praise from the 19 time PGA Tour winner. Oh, he flushed that one, and that just got up in the breeze and took off on him. Second shot now, here at the par three. Mm, 
didn't trust the read there, and that's going to cost him. That one finished off. It is a bogey here at four. And that won't help the cause one bit. You can see here at the par four fifth, there's a lot going on. It is one of the most interesting holes at Riviera, that canyon wall and out of bounds on the right. Then you have the trees down the left. But what really makes this hole distinctive is that grass mound cutting into the fairway just short of the green. Bogey at the last and found the rough here. It's gonna be a little bit of a shock on the momentum because it's going in the wrong direction. And that's a good approach shot too. Just a little left of the hole, but a good chance for Birdie. 18 feet from the bottom of the cup. Just gonna sneak on by. That one finished off. It's in for par. And he'll remain at six under par. You won't come across too many like this. Riviera's fame, par 3-6 at 199 yards. Hard to focus on anything other than that distinctive bunker cut right into the middle of the green. Finding the proper level is imperative here because getting it wrong can create all kinds of unique problems. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Okay, that's good putt. It is in to save par. And he'll stay right where he is. Moving on to the seventh, 408-yard par four with a massive bunker running down the left side and a barranca down the right. Fairway narrows considerably at the 270-yard mark, so accuracy off the tee, critical. Is starting up the right side. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Miss hit, wrong club. What happened there, Frank? All of the above, maybe. That's a little bit of a head scratcher. It wasn't that hard a shot. Lovely pitch shot. Just nipped that ball off the turf. Just flew through the air beautifully. Sat down fairly quick as well. Good shot. Nicely done as he rolls that in for his par. And he'll remain right where he is. The surprises don't stop here on Riviera's front side as we come to the 433-yard par 4-8. One of course designer George C. Thomas's all-time favorites. A split fairway is the unique feature here. Like many holes, this one forces you to really have a strategy. Ah, uh, trying to play for the left-hand fairway, but this is gonna wind up in that bunker on the left side. Gonna have to flight this a long way. His second out of the bunker. Yeah, playing for this right side fairway and that is right where you wanna be.
Everybody goes to the range and they all want to hit 300 yard short shots. But those little chip shots, they're just as important. smile a very good putt there to save his par and he'll stay right where he is we finish up the front side at Riviera with a 458 yard par 4 ninth one of the finest par fours in the game a long straight drive if he can manage it will take the two fairway bunkers out of play Super shot. Well, not as close to the pin as you'd like, but when you find greens in regulation on a regular basis, you're going to have a chance. A putt there. It's in from long distance for birdie here at the ninth. And that will mean it's a 34 on the front side, one under par. Up next, the 315-yard par 4 tenth. This may be the most beloved hole at Riviera. Short par 4 that offers so many options. Certainly drivable, but only a perfect drive will hold this green. And the miss right will usually result in a bogey or worse. No laying up with that swing. This is all or nothing. And that, I do believe, is into the bunker. Gonna have to try and give this a good thump to fly it to the hole. All right, not exactly what you're hoping for, but safely on the putting surface with birdie still in play. 12 feet still to go. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. Okay, that one finished off for a par. And he'll remain right where he is. Arriving now at the second par five of the course, the 583 yard 11. Eucalyptus trees lining both sides of the fairway and a grass rank about 200 yards from the green has to be navigated on your second shot. Okay, that's gonna be just fine, short of the road. Good tee shot here at 11. Now from better than 300 yards out, a second to the par five. That'll do just fine. A dead on look here for Birdie. Okay, that ball online all the way. It's a Birdie here at 11. And he gets it to two under for today's round and eight under for the tournament. Up next, a toughie, the 479-yard par 4 12th. It is a gentle left to right, so fading the ball is encouraged. Up near the green, beware of that lone sycamore tree known as 
the Humphrey Bogart tree, so named because he loved watching golf and relaxing under its shade. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. He needs to be mindful of the breeze here as he sets for a second. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. Now we'll have this for birdie. This now for birdie at 12. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Well, here's the genius of the design at Riviera. Number 12 was asking you to hit a little bit of a fade. 13, well, they're telling you to hit a draw. That's a good golf course when you have to work the ball both ways. This is a really tough driving hole. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Got to be careful here, downhill, he's got to time it good because your weight's a little bit more on your front foot. Well, too bad, Frank, that one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. Birdied the previous two holes and looking to keep the momentum. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, though. Uh, nicely judged, though. It's 4-5 here at par 3. He'll fall back to eight under par. Head now to the 14th, the par three at 192 yards. This green's on a slight incline, and given the ocean air, probably plays a little longer than you think. The narrow green is flanked by two bunkers left and another to the right. That one, safely on the putting surface. This is in the 30-foot range here. It's for birdie. Mm, not quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And he's going to remain at 8 under. Next up, the par 4 15th at 487 yards. It's another one that favors someone who can move the ball left to right off the tee. If you've got enough to work it over that fairway bunker right, it should leave you with an open look to a fairly accessible green. Boy, tough to do a whole lot better than that. That ball right down the middle. So a breeze at his back as he readies his second to the par four. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. 
Yeah, it's the break that you've really got to consider here. It will come from right to left. You've got to start it online and you've got a good chance of getting it close. Good, the whole way. Very nicely done. He'll finish that one off with no problem. It's in for par. And he'll stay right where he is. The 16th hole at Riviera, the final par three of the round. It's a tough one at 166 yards. Hit it anywhere on the putting surface, you'll likely be just fine. Miss, and you're almost certain to be in one of the four bunkers framing the entirety of the green. That's a nice shot right there. And good look at Bodie coming up. 13 feet away. Okay, safely in for his paw. And he'll remain right where he is. Next up, the longest hole on the course at 590 yards, the par 517. It plays slightly uphill the entire way as it works toward the clubhouse and features bunkers on either side of the fairway. All right, in the fairway. Not quite enough, but that's pretty good. It's just so tough to calculate how much speed is going to be taken off before you get to the green. But that is very well judged. Here's a tough one to finish out our day at Riviera, the famous 475-yard par 418. This one cut right up against the side of the hill on the left. You'll need to keep something in the fairway here to have a good approach into that renowned 18th green. This one started up the right side from the fairway. Let's go to Noda. Tough not to get distracted with the majestic amphitheater setting here at the 18th at Riviera, but be mindful. You must land the ball left of the hole to get it close. Seven footer. Yeah, that's a good putt. It is in for his par here at 18. That will make this.